My next guest takes on Chiek Congo coming up here at Bellator 199 on May 12th. It is Javi Ayala joining me here on the program for the very first time. Javi, how are you? I'm doing good. And yourself? I'm doing very well. And I understand I'm catching you uh, right before practice today. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually on my way there right now. Good stuff. And uh, you got, uh, you're doing Muay Thai today, you were saying? Yeah, I got Muay Thai on uh, Saturdays and Monday mornings. Um, I, I kind of rotate between Muay Thai and boxing throughout the week. And then I have my jiu-jitsu all week long. Yeah, and I know on top of all this, you have a full-time job as well. I know we were uh, talking about that when we were setting up this interview. For those who don't know, what do you do for work as far as uh, paying the bills and everything? Uh, I work at a Walmart distribution center. Um, I, move the, I move the trailers around from door to door, and sometimes I, I'll load the trailers up with the forklift. Okay, that's cool. How, how, how's that balancing uh, You know that job along with training and everything else? Uh, you know what? They're actually really good around my schedule. I have a set schedule there. So uh, I work uh, Tuesday through Friday and then a uh, certain time. So I'm able to uh, do my workouts around that time. That's great. Who's your buddy in the back seat there? Oh, that's my son right there. Hey, Hi, nice Dominic. to meet you, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, he, uh, he, he actually wanted to go with me today. He's like, Dad, can I go with you? I was like, yeah. Good. That's good. No, no babysitter either. You can just uh, sit there and uh, you know watch, uh, watch Dad uh, go to work there. But uh, let's talk about your last fight. I know things didn't go your way in that one, but you fought one of the toughest heavyweights out there in Roy Nelson. What do you sort of take away from that performance uh, against uh, Big Country? You know, I, I felt like I, like I did great. You know, my stand-up looked great. My, my uh, submission defense felt great. Um, I, it kind of The only thing I felt like I needed to work on was my takedown defense. And uh, that's something we really incorporated in this in this this camp that getting ready for this fight to help bring that up to par. And uh, that fight was back in September, and here we are uh, talking about a fight in May. Were you looking to get back in there a little bit sooner, or did you want this much time off? Uh, you know, I wanted to get back sooner, but um, uh, things ended up happening, and it kind of ended up working out perfect to where I'm fighting right now in May. And were you surprised you weren't part of the uh, the heavyweight tournament? Because uh, that's going on right now, and it seems like you were a guy that I, I think a lot of people were wanting to see in that tournament. Yeah, you know, I, I was surprised a little bit um, to see the, these lighter guys. You know, I would have understood it a little bit more if there were actual heavyweights, but um, four of the guys were actually normally fight at 205, so it's kind of like, hey, what are these guys doing in it? Yeah, and Chell but, Sonnen uh, who fought at middleweight. I mean, it's crazy. That they're, I mean, I, yeah. I, get, I get they want the name value, but I think part of doing a tournament as well is getting that recognition for, you know, fighters like yourself and, and you know, sort of building names. So, um, yeah, and I was, it was disappointing from my perspective not to see you in there. But nevertheless, you got a big fight here against Czech Congo. I mean, you must be pretty happy about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about it. Czech's a, a tough guy. I've, I've watched him since, since I first started uh, training in MMA, and I remember used to watching his fights and be like, man, this guy's – this guy's a beast, and then now it's he's my opponent. It's uh, I get to step across the ring from him. Yeah, and and how do you feel like you match up against him in this fight? You know, I I feel good. Um, Checks he, he's a little bit older now. Um, I know he's kind of not really the finisher like he used to be. He's kind of more of a uh, he tries to grind the fights out, and uh, hopefully I can make this fight exciting for the fans. And he's had a bit of a layoff, too. He hasn't fought since, I think it's last May. Um, do you feel like that's going to play a factor in this fight at all? You know what, it does. There's, there's a, at one point, I ended up taking a, a year off. And uh, when I stepped back in there, I was, I was kind of rusty. Even going back to the gym and sparring, you, I felt rusty. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, personal perspective there. Uh, we talked a little bit about training camp there. Who are some of your training partners as far as guys that you, you know, spar with, grapple with, things like that? You know, I have a few guys here in town. Uh, uh, there's uh, my buddy Vin Zavala. I got uh, Van Palacio. Uh, I've been actually driving to Fresno to box with a few uh, uh, amateur national champ boxers. Um, there's been uh, a lot of guys that have been working a lot with my cousin Joe Soto. And uh, he's been taking my jiu-jitsu to a whole other level. You, Joe Soto's your cousin? Yeah, he's my, he's my big cousin. Oh, you're Actually, big I'm cousin. bigger, but <laughs> yeah. he's my older cousin. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. So, what? Um, I mean, it must be kind of neat having a, a cousin that's also, uh, well, he fights in the UFC, but, I mean, he's still got a lot of knowledge to uh, to kind of bring down, I guess. Yeah, he's uh, he's helped me out a lot. Um, he's actually, I remember before I even started training, I would, I would go watch him fight when he was in the Bellator tournament, and I was like, man, this, this is awesome. And then uh, once it, once I started getting really into it and he came, he moved back to town, I started we started working out together. Cool. Well, that's good. Um, I know you cut to heavyweight, do you not? Uh, you're one of the few guys that does that. Yeah, I'm, I'm naturally a big boy. Uh, I'm Mexican. My, my wife 
cooks good. My mother-in-law cooks good. My mom cooks good. So yeah, it's tough it's to avoid. Hard to, yeah, it's tough to avoid. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm always pretty close in weight. It's never a big drastic cut. It's a, it's normally like ten to fifteen pounds I lose from my normal walking around weight. Do you do you have to diet at all during training camp, or do you just cut water uh, when when it comes time? No, I, 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 I diet, so I, I gradually get down there. Um, I really watch what I eat, too. I don't really want to be putting junk in my body when I'm getting ready to fight. No, of course it's not. It's kind of like it's whatever you eat, you feel like. so. Well, it's, it's like fuel in a car, right? If you're putting uh, you know, like sugar in your car, it's not going to run properly, right? So it's, yeah, you know, it's the same, same thing with the human body, right? Um, what's one thing that you can't eat during training camp that you really miss that you can't have? Oh, pizza. Okay. <laughs> Pizza's life. Even my son will tell you pizza's life for us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I hear you. Just, just get like a couple, uh, you know, extra larges after the fight or whatever. Get that all sorted out in the locker room. Um, how many more fights do you have in your contract? That was one thing I was curious about. Uh, I have three more fights. Actually, oh, nice. On my, on my... Okay, that's good. And uh, how do you sort of see this fight playing out on May twelfth? Uh, you know what? It's, I see it being a very exciting fight for the fans to watch, and uh, I just feel like there's going to be fireworks between me and him. Excellent. And, and I know, um, you know, obviously, if, if you get the win here, it, it would be a big one. You know, it always looks good on a resume taking out a UFC veteran. Are you looking for sort of a quick turnaround after this, just with the fact that, you know, you had some time off in between this fight and the last one? Yes, I would actually, I would like to fight at least once, twice more this, this year. So uh, hopefully right after this fight, I can get a, a quick two, three month turnaround. Is, is there anyone you kind of want to fight after this? Or you just wait to see how the tournament sort of goes and then maybe uh, pick and choose from there? Yeah, I would just I kind of want to see uh, who gets knocked out and uh, and who's still in, and hopefully I can fight some of these guys, some of these big name guys. Yeah, and hopefully too, they, they you know you could be an alternate too if something falls out or whatever. Who knows? I mean, I don't know if they they've set that in stone yet, but it would be interesting to see you get in there uh, in that tournament because uh, yeah, right now it's a little bit wide open. Yeah, that that, that would that would be great. Um, last question for you here. I, I know you're busy, obviously, with the job and training and everything else. Do you get any downtime at all? And I know you're, you know, being a dad and everything. But do you get to watch any Netflix or play any video games, anything like that? Uh, no video games. I haven't ever since I started working and uh, training. I haven't been able to play video games in a long time. But uh, on my downtime, I like to spend time with my wife and my kids. Um, it's real. It's real hard between working all day and then going to the gym and then coming home and it already being time for bed. Uh, so my time off, I like to spend with them. It's going to be an awesome fight. It's Bellator 199 coming up here May 12th live on Paramount Network. Uh, have you, it was a great getting a chance to talk to you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media and if you got any sponsors or shout-outs. The floor is yours, man. Uh, you know what? Uh, if the fans want to connect with me, they connect with me on, on my Twitter or my Instagram, which is at iCandyAyala.com or at iCandyAyala. And then uh, my Facebook is Javier Ayala. Um, also I have some big sponsors that I like to, that take care of me. And I'd like to thank it's, uh, Alonzo from about millions, uh, Mike from homes for rent. They've been, uh, been taking real good care of me. Laura, uh, she's been, uh, giving me my massages and whenever my body feels that line, she helps put it back together. What's up, fight fans? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.